The next exercise we're going to talk about today is the inside arm coil, but from the rear position. What do I mean by that? Here's what I mean. First time we did the inside arm coil, we were going from a side stance, meaning that my anchor point that I was pulling from was to the side of me, right? I was here, I was pulling down, and I was basically flexing sideways. So I got a lot of lateral flexion, but I really couldn't get the rotational aspect out of it. What this coil is gonna be, right? Now, for this particular coil, this one's gonna allow us to get the side bending, but it's also gonna allow us to get not only the rotation out of it as I side bend, but also the driving from front to back with the hips. This is gonna be great for a lot of you like baseball players, hockey players, you know, tennis players, any, anybody that's in any kind of the, the swinging sports where you have to push off the front leg and then push back, sorry, push off the back leg and push off the front leg also, all right? So what we're gonna do with this exercise, we're gonna do an inside arm coil, but we're gonna have our anchor point to the front of us. Now, for this particular exercise, I like to hook my wrist for this variation, all right? I just think it works a ton better. It's just me personally. I've also done it a lot of times where I've gone from the back arm. I just feel like for myself personally, I get a better grip from the wrist, right? So I'm gonna wrap my wrist, right? Right around. That's the grip. I went over and under. That's actually the hardest part for a lot of people right there. I'm gonna back up until I feel a decent amount of tension. And the arm that's doing the work, the side that has the band, that's gonna be the leg that's forward, all right? Now, if you look at my foot, I'm not going straight ahead and I'm not turned down. My foot's slightly turned down, turned in, right? I'm gonna pull the arm into my body, wrist to the rib cage. My thumb is turned out so I can really open up the chest and the shoulder blades. Look at my back foot, right? My back foot is spiraled in, which helps bow out my knee. A lot of people wanna do this and they keep weight on this back foot. I need you on the outside two toes, so I'm creating that spiraling motion. My left leg is pushing forward and turning in. My right leg is pushing back and turning out. And I'm getting this rearward rotating motion. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep my front circle open, my back circle closed. We talked about that, right? I'm not here, I'm open. And I'm holding that for as long as I can. Back up till I feel a decent amount of tension. I got zero toe tension, zero heel tension. I'm on the outside two bones of my foot. And I'm holding this coil with my lats, my obliques, and my shoulder blades. Now this particular motion, you can get a lot of outer quad and a lot of glutes in there too. But I'm sitting there and I'm putting my body in position so the muscles are locking me in so I get the maximum amount of bone support. And if you look, my head from the, beer, from the rear position is centered directly over my foot. And I'm hanging out here you know, 20 seconds, 40 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever you go for. I really wouldn't go for more than 60 seconds personally. I would try to keep it under 60 seconds, get the strength aspect out of it, right? Same thing, I'm gonna go from the left side now. It's my garbage side. I'll wrap the wrist. Everything's just backwards now. Now, a lot of you guys might have to start with the arm in and walk back to figure out where your tension is, right? I'm there. And all I'm gonna do, get my foot in the right place. And I'm gonna hold that coil. Now this side's a lot harder for me, like you guys know, because my left side's garbage. But you can see how a lot, I'm like pretty close to what it looked like on the other side. I'm keeping that back circle closed. I'm keeping that front circle on my chest open. And I'm in that position, I'm bowing the knee out. The other leg's turning in. I'm in my lats, I'm in my obliques, I'm in my shoulder blades, in addition to my glutes and my quads. And I'm out. Now here's the main thing with an exercise like this, right? You can see how good my right side was, you can see how bad my left side is. That's actually why we want to do this exercise. Because if I'm doing stuff like squats, deadlifts, leg presses, lunges, anything, and I got that hard shift to the right, my whole body's gonna be off balance and I'm never gonna correct it. Where exercises like this will let my left side end up getting just as strong, if not very close to it, as my right side. Now for somebody like myself, who's really fucked up, what I'll typically do is I'll do a two to one ratio. because This is more of a corrective exercise, right? So what I would do, I would do, because my left side is my bad side, I would do a set of my left, I would do a set of my right, and then I would do another set of my left. Why would I do that? This way it gives my left side a chance to catch up to my right side as we develop. Otherwise, if you're doing one for one ratios, it might not catch up as fast, all right? Um, and it's a great toning exercise too. For any of you guys who ever did a lot of planks before, 
you know just by holding that plank for 30 to 60 seconds how much your body's gonna have a tendency to start sweating and just like shaking from those isometric positions. So it's a phenomenal exercise. We've been talking to you about that in the past couple of videos. We just found out there's a lot of different variations that can be used for a lot of different reasons and keeps the exercise interesting for you. So that is another variation of the coil. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Like I always say, if you're having trouble with these exercises, um, like I said, this is an exercise that we got from David Weck at The Weck Method. It's a phenomenal instructor. If you haven't followed him on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or all the other millions of fucking Facebook profiles we all have, I would definitely give him a follow. Um, or you can reach out to us, so either myself or one of the coaches on our team can, you know, give you a little clarity and guidance on the exercise, maybe help you get you back on track and connect the dots where you might be missing them. Other than that, Guys, thanks for following us. Hopefully you like the page. If you haven't subscribed to our page yet, do me a favor, click the button below or above, depending what platform you're on. So this way you don't miss out on any of the, more, any of the new videos we're putting out each week. And that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for stopping by. See you in the next one.